Uh, I'm Yasin Chaudhary. Uh, I'm an IAS officer, 2015 batch. Uh, I'm currently MD in a gym, uh, Jammu and Kashmir. So usually we obviously keep on uh, giving some press releases or the other, but uh, the subject at hand was technical and uh, it required uh, some detailed expounding. So that's why we thought that we'd invite some people over and uh, start talking about it so that uh, we can build up, uh, we can have some build up before the event. Uh, I'm sure that uh, a week ago you would have followed this uh, very important development uh, in the health sector in JNK. That was the release of the SRS uh, survey results. The SRS is the sample registration survey, uh, which is uh, conducted by a third party, a government mandated third party agency uh, to look into our uh, leading health indicators. And I'm very, very proud to say that uh, Jammu and Kashmir uh, has uh, uh, dropped its IMR by a solid three points. It has come down to 17 points from 20 points. And uh, this is the largest uh, increase ever in the history of Jammu and Kashmir. And in fact, uh, the largest increase between two successive readings in the whole country ever. So this goes on to, uh, this goes on to show that uh, all these major uh, you know, developments that we have made in terms of uh, in addition to our uh, healthcare infrastructure, particularly ma maternal and pediatric infrastructure has yielded results. And uh, we are securing uh, the lives of our neonates and infants. Uh, now, uh, before I go on about this, uh, let me tell you a bit about what we have been planning. So uh, on 6th June, uh, Jammu and Kashmir is going to host uh, the first of its kind MCH conclave or maternal and child health conclave, which is basically a two day national level event, which will uh, be in the format of a best practice sharing summit. So we want to lead the country in uh, bringing together uh, all the leading uh, maternal and pediatric experts uh, both from the uh, tertiary care side, the clinical side, as well as uh, the community health side, uh, and also from uh, the ministry, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, as well as uh, developmental organizations, uh, uh, multilateral organizations like WHO, Norway India Partnership Initiative, uh, uh, so on and so forth, and uh, have an intense, uh, you know, series of discussions, a uh, series of panel discussions on the burning topics related to MCH here in JNK. Uh, so this was uh, being planned uh, well in advance uh, for pretty much the last six months, uh, but because and, and this IMR uh, reduction news just happened to come, so we are very glad to leverage upon it and uh, make uh, JNK as the center of attention uh, or rather uh, as a center of convergence for uh, discussions regarding improvement in MCH care. Uh, now uh, I'd like to lay some background. Uh, uh, National Health Mission, its genesis uh, was actually in uh, this scheme called RCH, uh, Reproductive and Child Health. Uh, the you know dozen other schemes were added later, but uh, maternal and child health remain our core bread and butter, so as to say. The Janni Shishu Suraksha Yojana, Janni Suraksha Yojana, or the Rashtra Bal Swasthya Karikram. Uh, these have been you know the age-old uh, you know schemes that have been running in uh, uh, NHM for the last more than a decade, uh, and uh, we have been building upon them uh, not just in a beneficiary-oriented scheme promotion manner, but also as I said in terms of infrastructure. And uh, uh, this is where uh, I'm coming to. So. Uh, one instance or you know evidence that I want to lay out is uh, the establishment of uh, dedicated uh, infant and neonatal care uh, or rather critical care uh, uh, units in the form of say SNCU special newborn care units or NICU NICU newborn intensive care unit or PICU pediatric intensive care unit which uh, NHM had been uh, very arduously sponsoring and uh, uh, you know uh, establishing in all the district hospitals and even those which later got converted into GMC and even the, uh, the CHCs and uh, it is because of this infrastructure addition that uh, we had been able to see uh, you know more and more uh, sick neonates uh, not being referred uh, and hence you know uh, losing their lives in transit and many other things. Uh, we are uh, very proud to say that uh, JNK UT uh, or NHM JNK was one of the first state or UT uh, state health societies in the country to establish all these uh, units in a time bound manner. I am also uh, very glad to uh, inform you and uh, a lot of you would have followed this uh, particular uh, event uh, which took place in SMGS Hospital Jammu a couple of uh, uh, months ago. Uh, this was in regard to the ECRP package, the Emergency Covid Response Package, which is given by the Government of India, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare as a special dispensation to states and duties to fight uh, Covid uh, uh, through various uh, you know means, be it say infrastructure support, HR support. Uh, drugs and diagnostics and whatnot and as a part of it uh, particularly as a part of ECRP2 package we uh, got sanctioned for uh, 42 maternal ICUs and pediatric ICUs and the foundation stone of the same was laid by Honorable Lieutenant Governor Sir uh, two months ago in SMGS and uh, I'm uh, very proud to announce that uh, all of those uh, 
uh, ICUs have been uh, completed, they have been uh, successfully uh, constructed and uh, are functioning and will be inaugurated during the inaugural session, uh, during the opening session of uh, this MCH conclave in the morning of uh, 6 June.